banter, man. Pathetic. Fucking bullshit. Hey, truest believers. Uh, we're having a small crisis here. Uh, we're uh, angry. Furious. There's a, a copycat killer out there imitating our work, and we are not taking this news very well. Yeah, and he fucking sucks, goddamn talentless hack. As you can tell, we're pretty peeved about it. And and look, obviously we're flattered. Just speak for yourself. Fine, I'm flattered. And I really hate to say this about the work of someone who's clearly a fan of ours. It's trash, okay? It's trite, it's hack, it's hacky amateur bullshit. And that's not even the worst part. Go ahead, tell them. Tell them what the worst part is. Everyone thinks it's us. Are they really so dumb that they can't tell our surgical stitch work on human flesh from ones done by some lazy knockoff artist using, what, fucking yarn from Hobby Lobby? These simpletons wouldn't know genius if it pried open the rib cages, filled it with candy, sewed it back up, then set up a baseball bat on a mechanical arm to beat it like a piñata the second the police tripped a sensor as they approached it, which is what the copycat did, which is very clearly and obviously a take on something we did in Arizona six years ago. Take is putting it kindly. They ripped us off. August 2015, Tempe, Arizona. We stuffed a parking garage attendant's chest with sweet caramelos, then covered his body in delightfully colored streamers and strung him up in a public park pavilion. We killed an entire man just to pose him as a drunk dad arguing with his estranged wife on the phone off to the side of the party near the cooler of Coors out of his daughter's earshot. We scraped together all of our spare parts from our freezer and turned it into a whole party of excited little children dancing around the piñata. No children were harmed, of course. Of course, but your point is well taken. It is painful to see it all so shamelessly ripped off. We were really trying to use the dead to say something about the soullessness of our silly social rituals. This person, this thief, just tosses corpses around willy-nilly with nothing to say. Now, what I don't get here is how you're not fuming about this, because this tableau was your idea. I hate that the general public thinks we'd make a patchwork flesh statue so shoddy that it collapsed when a pigeon sat on it on live TV. But I think sometimes we get wrapped up in the fame and infamy of it all that we forget who we're really doing this for. We're not doing it for people reading about our work on CNN. We don't do it for the commenters on the Fork River Killers subreddit, even though we love our Reddit truest believers. Much love and much respect. Thanks for listening. Alfredo, you always have to remember that we're doing this for two reasons. One, artistic expression. And two, to make the life of FBI agent Antonio Rodriguez a living hell. And I know that within seconds of laying eyes on that piece of shit work, Antonio knew it wasn't us. He's a shitty cop, but by this point, he's practically an art appraiser who can spot a fake Rembrandt from a mile away. And as long as he gets it, we're okay. You know, Mads, when you're right, you're right. I'm sure he's figured it out by now. And I'm sorry for losing sight of what really matters. I'm still going to turn this copycat's femurs into ladles if I ever find out their identity, but until then, I'm going to try to not let this get to me. Good, and allow yourself to feel a little flattered. We are influential enough to be shamelessly ripped off. We're transformers and he's transmorphers. That's a compliment in my book. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll do better. That's great to hear. Now, that's it for us today, truest believers, but be sure to listen again next week when we're going to be a little less angry because we're going to be talking to a meditation instructor to learn how to remain calm in stressful situations. Uh, Actually, small correction there, Mads. Uh, We're not learning from him. We'll be hunting him. Oh, oh, my bad. Quite all right. It'll probably be our most chill kill yet. Don't forget to subscribe and follow our podcast network on Twitter at AnAudibleCast and contribute to our Patreon at patreon.com slash AnAudiblePod. Until next time, you'll be hearing from us again soon. <laughs> <laughs>